A typical web page has multiple sections, and in Blocks app these sections are called Blocks. Navigation section is a navigation block, Banner section is a banner block, and Future section is a Futures block. And same can be said about all of the sections we have on our website. When you open Blocks app on your computer for the first time, you will see that we have a number of pre-installed blocks, and we can also download and install the custom blocks from third-party developers. There are two types of blocks available. The first type is the structure, and the second type is the content block. And the structure blocks are basically the empty placeholder blocks which only have the columns inside, which we can fill with the content later. The content blocks are basically the same structure blocks, but they have already the content filled inside. For example, here we have the content block of these images, text, cards and other elements. We can add as many blocks as we want to create a website structure. We can place blocks to the footer area under the blue line as well as the header area above the blue line. And these areas will be the same on all pages. In the left sidebar we have the layer tree, which allows us to easily navigate between the available blocks. We can customize the blocks any way we want, and we can move them around using the layer tree. We can easily duplicate them using the command D shortcuts. We can delete the block using this trash icon and even save them to our computer to use in other projects.